songs of my heart let it rise to bless your name and flow to you flow to you let my worship flow to you Flow to you, flow to you, of my worship, Lord, in all I do, let the river I swell with the rain Let the songs of my heart Let them rise And flow Flow to you the songs of my heart let it
you have, Lord. Nobody will do you like the Lord God Almighty. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let it all flow to you. Glory. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I give honor to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, who is the author and the finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him, he endured the cross in spite of the shame, and he sits upon the right hand side of God, and he makes intercession for you and I. Though he was rich, yet he became poor, that through his poverty we might have eternal life. The word of God says, Whosoever shall call upon his name shall be saved. If we confess with our mouth, and believe in our heart that God raised him from the dead, we shall be saved. We thank God for this day, even though our nation, the world, we're going through troubling times, and even our east coast of the Carolinas are being threatened by a storm. But yet and still, God has everything under control. Let us pray that the Lord will bless us and protect us during these troubling times. I'd like to share with you, according to the Gospel according to St. Luke, the 24th chapter and the 44th verse. Uh, the Word of God said, These are the words which I spake unto you while I was yet with you, that all things might be fulfilled which were written in the law of Moses and in the prophets and in the Psalms concerning me. Words of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ during his post-resurrection events Forty days after he had rose from the grave, he appeared unto Mary Magdalene and the women, the disciples, James, and 500 followers, Cleophas and his companion on their master's road. Amen. He shared with them concerning events that had come to pass and things that are now to come. Amen. There he was with the mother too, there on the outskirts of Bethany, about to send it back to the Father, to sit on the right-hand side of God. And he gave them command. His final sermon, amen, told them to go into all the world and to baptize them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, and teach them all things whatsoever I have commanded you. And then he gave that blessed assurance, Lord, I'll be with you always. I thank God that we have a God that even though he's not visible, Sometimes we can't see him, we can't hear him, amen, but he's always present. And I praise him and give him glory for this unseen God, but yet and still I can feel and sense his presence every day. It is him that tips those down from heaven and wakes me up every morning, amen, right on time. I give him praise and glory. Today we are talking about a song, a song will make one strong. Amen. We find that the Bible is divided into two sections, the Old Testament and the New. The Old Testament, it conceals Christ, yet the New Testament, it reveals Christ. The Gospel according to St. Matthew in the New Testament, Matthew gives us a clear view of the geological arrangement of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ from Abraham down, amen, to uh, Jesse. Uh, he was called the son of David. He was born in Bethlehem of Judea, amen, after 42 generations. John, he tells of the deity of Christ. So in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God, for all things were made by him. He orchestrated and designed, amen, the world that we live in, and everything that he created was good. Amen. The gospel, according to St. Mark, amen, it tells of Christ being, amen, a tireless servant. Amen. He said, I come to do the will of my Father into this world. He preached and he taught every opportunity he could. Amen. And we find that uh, even sometime when he was restless on the ship, amen, they would wake him up, amen, and have him to go through his ministerial duties. But the gospel according to St. Luke, I mean, this intrigued me so, amen, the gospel according to St. Luke, Luke was not one of the 12 disciples. 
He was not one of the apostles. He was one that uh, he did not witness the ministry and the miracles of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Yet it still it seemed as though he had a deep revelation of the ascension of Christ. And then we find that Luke wrote from uh, eyewitnesses of the ministry and miracles of Christ. Luke, amen, he tells us, amen, concerning, as he addresses his book to a theological, this Roman official, Luke tells us concerning Christ when he led them out from Bethany. He starts off his book, amen, with Zacharias and Elizabeth, who was old in age, and they prayed earnestly for a child. And we find that uh, the Lord did visit them, amen, and tell Luke as he began to write, Amen. He tells how that uh, Zacharias was in the temple uh, going through his priestly functionary. And there appeared Gabriel on the right side of the altar. Gabriel began to speak, amen, to Zacharias. Man told Zacharias, Zacharias, your wife is going to have a child. Zacharias in doubt said, well, she's old now. How can this be? We find that uh, with God, all things are possible. Sometimes things might occur in your life, in my life, amen, that seem impossible. But with God, all things are possible. And then he talks about the visitation of the angel to Mary. Amen. Begin to tell Mary, Mary, you're going to have a son. And he's going to be great. Amen. He's going to sit on the throne of David. And then he talks about uh, John the Baptist at his birth when, while he was in his mother's womb. The Bible say that when Mary went to visit her cousin Elizabeth, amen, that when he walked in the room, amen, John the Baptist got happy, even in his mother's room, and began to leap for joy, amen. And so we find that uh, uh, Luke uh, records, amen, he said, begin to tell them, the mother two that were gathered there in Bethany, that uh, the law of Moses, amen, the law of Moses, man, it, 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 it kept them in line. The law of Moses was set of rules, amen, to keep them free. They had been in bondage for over 400 years, amen. And so now God had brought them out of captivity and gave them laws that they should abide by. And if you abide by these laws and rules, amen, you will remain free. Even today in our modern society, we have rules and laws that, that keep us free, amen, free from bondage. Amen. Free from sickness, free from illness. Amen. Even today we have to uh, guard ourselves against this virus that is plaguing our nation. Amen. Plaguing our world. Amen. Tell us to uh, distance ourselves. Tell us to wear masks. Amen. Tell us not to congregate together. Amen. The laws of the land. Amen. And they're, they're making the laws in some state. Amen. So uh, this will keep us free. Amen. From this contaminating virus that it's in our nation. So the laws of Moses, amen, kept them free. The prophets, the prophets were God's mouthpiece. God was speaking to their hearts and to their intellect, amen, concerning the things that they should do. Amen. God oftentimes rewarded Israel uh, concerning their contrariness. He called Israel sometimes a stiff necked people, amen, like the people today. I see some refuse to wear masks. Some refuse to distance themselves. They have it marked in Lowe's and Family Dollar Store and Walmart. They have the distance that you should uh, be from those that are in front of you. But yet and still, people be right on your shoulder. Amen. But we find that uh, if you obey the rules and the laws, you will not succumb to those things that will cause you to get the air ailments and, 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 and things in your body. So let us listen ourselves according to the law. But then he said, after the laws of Moses, amen, after the prophets had spoken, amen, then we have, he said that the song, you remember the song, the songs of David. They all were not written by David. It was 150 songs. Amen, those songs was the Hebrew hymn book, and they were singing Songs unto the Lord, as they would march up to the temple during their feast day, they would sing songs unto the Lord. Amen. Moses was a type of Christ. Amen. The law, amen, was given to keep Israel free as long as they were obedient. But a song, a song, amen, we find that a song, 
amen, will keep you strong. Amen. We find here in the songs, amen, it was written that uh, the songs, when they were working and when they was uh, going through their uh, priestly functionaries in the temple, amen, the congregation would sing songs unto the Lord, rejoicing in the God of our salvation. Amen. I can hear them saying, amen, great is the Lord and greatly to be praised. I can hear them singing songs unto Zion. We are marching up to Zion, that beautiful city of God. They will sing the songs, oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. Truly, he is desired to be exalted. Amen. He declared that I'm a jealous God and thou shalt have no other God before me. Amen. They hear him sing, and uh, blessed the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sit in the seat of the scornful. Amen. We need to be uh, wise in this last and evil day. They will sing a song, the Lord, he's my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked, even my enemies, my foes, when they come against me to uh, eat up my flesh, they will stumble and fall. A door whole shall encamp against me, in this will I be confident. One thing I have desired of the Lord, and that thou I seek out, that I would dwell in the house of the Lord. And David thought about, as he was singing this song, how that uh, he was not invited in when uh, the prophet Samuel came to the house and his father Jesse had a banquet. Amen. The Samuel had come, amen, to choose a king over Israel in Saul's place. Amen. And those brothers, they all got together. They got dressed up. Amen. They put on their Botany 500 shoes. They put on their Stacy Adams shoes. They had Botany 500 suits. They got their hair combed, their beard shaped. And, and they got all kinds of cologne put on. And they... They stood around the feasting table. Amen. But we find that uh, Samuel did not choose any of them, amen, to uh, be king of Israel in Saul's place. And after a while, uh, Samuel began to ask, amen, Jesse, do you have another boy? He said, yes, I have a young lad. He's in the field. He's smelling and he's dirty and uh, he's out there with the sheep. And Samuel do Command that you bring him in. Bring him in. And the horn of the all, the anointing of God, amen, begin to flow. And he uh, anointed David, king of all Israel. And the word of God declared that God does not look at the outer appearance, but God looks at the heart. Amen. You can't dress good, amen, to impress folks, make them think that you are holy and righteous. God looks at the inward man. It's not by works that any man should boast, amen, but it's by what's on the inside. A pure heart have I required of thee. We find that these commandments uh, that uh, was given to Moses, amen, the law was simply a shadow of good things to come. The law was our schoolmaster. The law was weak in the flesh, amen. That's why God sent his only begotten son, in the likeness of sinful flesh and false sin, condemn sin in the flesh, that we have a right entitled to the tree of life. Amen. The prophets were types of Christ. They were God's spokesmen. Amen. But I heard him say that, that I'm going to raise up a prophet in the last day. Amen. You won't hear the prophets that are now in your presence now, but I'm going to raise up a prophet in the last day. Amen. That you shall hear. So we come down as we had the law of Moses. I mean, we had all the prophets. Now the song brings us into the worship center. Amen. We ought to sing a song. Amen. To be strong. Amen. You have to sing a song. Amen. We find that uh, the songs, 150 songs, amen, they were written to be sang in the sanctuary. They were written as they would go up to Jerusalem. Amen. And they were saying songs unto the Lord. Great is the Lord and greatly to be praised. Somebody will say, oh, taste and see that the Lord, he is good. He's good all the time. And they would say that they would have fainted except they had seen the goodness of the Lord 
in the land of the living. Trust in the Lord with all their heart. They will sing these songs, amen, unto the God of our salvation. You see what a song does, a song, amen, bring joy in times of sorrow, bring peace in times of confusion. If you sing a song, a song will make you strong. Amen. So we need to sing songs unto the Lord, even though we're going through certain trials and tribulations. Amen. When we get up in the morning, we ought to have a song on our lips. Amen. During the course of the day, amen, we have a song in our mind. Amen. Sing a song unto the Lord, God, Jehovah. Amen. Songs are poetry. Songs are poets that have written and they put it in order in a hymn. Amen. So we sing them unto the Lord. You know, now I cannot really sing a song real good. Amen. But I can go in the bathroom in my shower. Amen. And sing songs unto God. Amen. Because I'm not singing to the audience. I'm not singing to the individual. But I sing praises unto my God. For he is worthy of all this praise. And I believe, amen, if he woke you up this morning, amen, you ought to sing a song unto the Lord. If you start you on your way, may your pathway burner and your burden lighter, you ought to sing a song unto the Lord. Amen. If he may uh, bless you day by day, amen, are you required to sing praises unto the God of your salvation. It's sad when I go to a sanctuary and look and see folks, they won't even help the choir out. Amen. I believe that everybody ought to be a part of the praise team we have in our modern churches now. Amen. We have a praise team. We have choirs. Amen. We have individuals that will come up and sing a solo. But I believe that if God woke you up this morning, amen, if God bless you, amen, with food on your table and clothes on your back, amen, you ought to open your mouth, amen, as loud as you can and say, thank you, Lord, for being so good unto me. I mean, we find that songs will sing by sang by the Hebrew people, amen, because, amen, they could keep them in their heart and mind. Notice little children, amen, they can pick up a song, amen, and sing the lyrics, amen, as if it would birth in them, amen. But you ask them to say a Bible verse, they stumble and fumble, amen. So we ought to learn, amen, the songs and sing them unto the glory of vocation of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I'm reminded when I was a little boy, it was difficult for me to learn my ABC. And I always leave out a few, uh, few letters, amen. But uh, I started singing my ABC. And when I start singing it, I got all the words right, all the alphabets right. And so uh, when that was in my heart, Amen. I could easily sing it, then say it. And so it is in the word of God. Every now and then you ought to get a, a verse out of the scripture. So I will lift up my eyes unto the hill from which cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord that made the heaven and earth. He will not suffer my foot to move. He that keepeth Israel will neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord, he is my keeper. The Lord is my shade upon my right hand. The sun shall not smite me by day, nor the moon by night. He will preserve thy soul. We ought to get a song and sing unto the Lord. Great is the Lord and greatly to be praised. In the city of our God and the mountain of Zion. Everybody knows the Lord is my shepherd. Amen. Just sing songs unto the Lord. Great is the Lord. He's mighty to be served. Amen. We can say, amen, Bible verses. And put them in a song, amen, and sing from the depths of our heart. God is so good. He's so good to me. We used to sing an old song in the church. Amen. Jesus, I want you to build a fence all around me. Jesus, I want you to protect me day by day. Amen. Truly, we need protection in this last and evil day. We need protection from this unseen virus that's floating in the land. We need protection from thieves and robbers that, that will press right, right in our house. Uh, we think we're safe because we have these different alarm services, amen. But like the woman, she was trying to dial 911, amen, and she couldn't get them in time. 
So we need to have Jesus as the one that will be able to protect some protection around us. And I thank God that we that are his children, we that have been born again and washed in the blood of Jesus Christ. Amen. He will hear us. Amen. And we make our plea, make our petition unto him. Amen. The Lord, he will hear us. Amen. He's faithful and just. Amen. To hear the cry of his children. And we serve a God that sets high and look low. Amen. Every hair upon our head, they're already numbered. And God is able to take care of us. And I charge and challenge you today that if you're not in the family of God, if you're not in the kingdom of God, it's time for you to make up your mind. Amen. Because time is so. You can be here today and be gone tomorrow. I've been to so many funerals that, amen, young folks, amen, little children, amen, and those that are senior in age that sometimes they have wasted their lives, amen. But it's time now, amen, to make our calling in election show. Amen. We cannot go before, amen, and wait until we have in our lives for the preacher or the priest or anybody to put us in. Amen. We have to do it ourselves. He said, Apostle Paul declared that, uh, for we know that when this earth, the house of this tabernacle dissolved, that we have another building, not made by hand, but eternal into the heaven. So the end of this life it's not the end of life. Amen. We live to live again. This old body goes back to the dust of the earth. Amen. And, but uh, we find that our soul goes to eternity. And we all going to be judged. Amen. By the righteous judge. Going to say to the sheep, uh, enter into the joy of the Lord. And to those that are on the left side, amen, enter into eternal damnation. Amen. So let us prepare ourselves. It doesn't matter how long you live upon the earth. Amen. It doesn't matter about your deeds done in the service on yesterday. When man had accomplished so much in life, but all his accomplishment and all the good words. And I'm getting kind of disturbed about him saying about he would take the shirt off your back. Amen. I hear that every time I go to a service. Amen. I haven't seen nobody take no shirt off. Nobody back to give nobody. So we have to be so careful. And, and even as ministers, we have to be careful what we say and things. Because you know, we cannot put nobody in heaven or eternal damnation. So let us, amen, uh, live right and live holy. And the best eulogy that you can eulogize is the one you live in this life. We pray, God, that you receive something out of this word today. Amen. Sing a song. Sing a song. A song will make you strong. Amen. Sing a song. Amen. I'm not talking about these rapper songs and, and all these other songs, but get a song. Amen. The singer to God, Jehovah, the author and finisher of our faith. Amen. He has blessed you and kept you. And I'm sure that you have been in a situation where you could have been affected by this virus, but yet and still God have had mercy on you and spare you to continue on. Amen. So let us continue to pray and seek God's face even as never before. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we, we thank you. We give you glory. We give you praise. Amen. How you have kept us, Lord. And you have you have blessed us. Lord. How you provide for us in these trying times, Lord. Oh, God, we thank you that we have a shelter over our head, clothes on our back, and shoes on our feet. We are so grateful, Lord, and we thank you that you have kept us, even in harm's way, you have been with us. You've been a shelter in a time of storm. Yeah. You've been a bridge in troubled water. And yet we give you praise and glory. May God bless you today. May heaven smile upon you. This is our prayer. UPHC Church Family and Friends, your tithes and offerings and also donations can be sent by way of Cash App, PayPal, payment methods, or in the description. We are so very glad that you join us today. We pray that you are blessed with that powerful word coming from our pastor, Bishop Wallace Grimes. Join us every Sunday at 11 a.m. and Wednesday nights at 7 p.m. on Facebook and YouTube. Folks without homes out in the streets And the drug habits some say they just can't be Muggers and robbers, no place seems to be safe But it could be my protection every step of the way I want to say thank you, Lord, for all you've done for me
As viewed here today, McAfee Tech is here for all your technical needs. Please contact us at 252-349-0180.